Hospitals across the country and the state are now required to publish the prices of their care and procedures. Now, these two rules require hospitals to do a couple different things. Our Brandon Thompson is here to break it down for us. Brandon? Yeah, that's right. So state law last year requires Colorado hospitals to publish their most common procedures and the price for those. The Affordable Care Act requires hospitals nationally to publish every single price, which as you'll soon hear, that can be complicated. The goal is to lower the price of health care through transparency, but as one health care leader I spoke with says, transparency needs to go a lot further if that's ever going to happen. What you pay for a hospital visit. It's analogous to being on an airplane and wondering what the other people on the airplane paid for their ticket. Can depend on your health, your stay, your procedure, and your insurance. In the free market, you've got the buyer and you've got the seller. In the healthcare economy, you have the buyer, the seller, and then the part of the triangle, which is the insurer. And that changes the entire dynamic. So when you look at this list, there are literally thousands of different procedures and prices, prices you likely won't be paying. Less than 2% of the patients we take care of ever even come close to paying anything near the list price. Because if there's one thing that's settled at the healthcare industry, it's that your healthcare is up for negotiation. Negotiations between your employer, between your insurer, and the hospitals like Davidson's. Hospitals are both sellers of healthcare and buyers of healthcare. We buy implants, we buy medications, pharmacy, we buy devices, we buy labor. So that's where I think uh, added transparency needs to be, is in the entire continuum. He says hospitals are one part of the puzzle and less than a third of the price you pay. The profit margin for a nonprofit hospital is around three to five percent. St. Mary's is a little bit higher than that, but not out of the ballpark. Uh, some of the device manufacturers that we buy from and all U.S. hospitals buy from can be north of 20 percent. Some insurance companies are north of 20 percent. And pharmaceutical companies are at that level as well. Davidson calls for transparency because he wonders where his money is going, like when St. Mary's has lowered prices for its care. But if the insurance company does not lower its rates to reflect our cost reduction to them, back to the consumer, they take it home as profit, and this happens all the time, all the time. And we have some examples of that locally. And when price cuts go to line corporate profits, Davidson says hospitals are less likely to do that. For the most part, both St. Mary's and Community Hospital had their prices published well before January 1st. We'll have links to the local hospital's prices on westernslopenow.com.